14 says, But I said, The Lord God of Israel, yes, sir. barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the curse of all fail, yes, sir. until the day that the Lord sent it rain upon the earth. Yes, and she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, yes, sir. and she and he and her house yes. did eat for many days. Yes. And the barrel of meal yes. Yes, sir. wasted not, yes. neither did the curse of all fail, uh -huh. according to the word of the Lord, yes, sir. which he speak by Elijah. Yes, Amen. Uh -huh. you know that God can provide yes. 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 anytime. Yes. Yes. Even when we give up in life, yes. Yes. God can yet come through for us. Yes. So see, you got to realize that when God said he's going to be by your side right. and be there, you got to know how to call on him and believe yes, that he can do what he said he's going to do. Yes. Now this woman want to fix whatever she wanted to do Free and prepare her son and just eat and lay down and die. But God has another plan. Oh, yes, see, a lot of times our plan that we make, yes. that's why it's not good for y'all to make a lot of plans yes. like God be in the middle. Yes, right. Right. And a lot of times we make plans in our life. Yeah. And when we don't include God in it, yeah. come on, preacher. Anything like that. Oh, yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Some of us, even today, we're planners. Yeah. Uh -huh. Planners make sure that everything is done in order, and every dot is dotted, and every T is crossed. Yes. Yeah. Leave nothing to change. Uh -huh. They are why they, even some of us today. Yes, sir. Thank God for Jesus. Yes, Even when we need extra steps in our body. Uh -huh. To prepare for a rainy day. Yes. But when you plan, it's good to plan sometimes, y'all. Yes, yes. yes. Nothing wrong with planning. Yes. But put God in the Amen. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. Yes. Put God first yes, sir. in whatever you do. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. A plan I never miss an appointment. No. Yes. Neither forget, even your birthday. We can remember everything else or forget everything else. But one thing a lot of us don't, don't forget is our birthday. That's yes. the yes. We never overlook the responsibilities this way. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. But you know the type that we, that, that whatever type that we feel that we are in life, whatever uh -huh. type that we are, don't let the devil define you. Lord help us. Thank you, Jesus. But too many of us are listening to what the devil said that we are. Amen. All we will become. Yes, sir. Oh, All thank God for Jesus. Yes, sir. Planners are obsessed with perfection. I'm not condemning perfection because I love perfection myself. I like things in order. I like that way in my home. I like things in order. I don't like things all mixed up and messed all up. I like things in order. That's just the way I am. Yes. And I always be. Yes. Our plans are mortal plans. Mortal plans. We are not omnipotent. We're not omnipotent. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But no, we, we can do it or we can't do it all. Uh -huh. Bible said. All right. But with Christ, we can do all things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Through Christ, we can do all things. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God for Jesus. Oh, yeah. As Christians, uh -huh. I had to learn this myself. Yes, As Christians, we have to learn to do what we can yes. and leave the rest to God. Yes. You can't solve every problem that come up in your life. Yes. You can't solve everything that happened during your day. day. You have to rely sometimes on God. Yes. And ain't nothing wrong with you getting to a point and you can't go any further. Yes. Uh -huh. And give it over into the hands of God. Yes. He'll take care of it. Yes, yes. He can do all things. Yes. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask the thing. Yes. Okay. Ephesians 3 and 20 tells us. Uh -huh. Take this case of Elijah. Elijah found himself in the middle of a terrible drought. Uh -huh. Starving. Yes, sir. By a dried up river. Yes. All the plans of mortal man could not have spared him. Yes. This moment of horror. But he thought that he was doomed sometime in your life yes. after you don't turn every other way. Yes. You, don't think you're doomed. you don't think you don't see no way out. Yes. Uh -huh. How many of y'all been in that situation? Oh, yes. Yes. 
I've been in a situation where it seemed like every place I turned, come on, I was doomed. Yes, sir. Right. Thank Amen. God for Jesus. Yes, sir. That's what happened to him. Uh -huh. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. yes. And he would have been uh -huh. had it not been God uh -huh. intervention. Yes. God yes. has to intervene, intervene sometimes uh -huh. in what we do. Yes. Yes. Although we don't see a way out. Right. Yes. But God will intervene. Yes. Yes. God sent, the Bible say God sent thirsty Elijah. Yeah. A battling to Where? Yes. Where? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Some raven. Uh-huh. And a winner and some scrap of food. Yes. To deliver Elijah from certain death. Yes. Oh, God. So God. When you give up. God is yet there to you. Thank yes, you, sir. So glad. He don't intend for none of y'all in here. Don't give up. To get into a situation where you want to go to our place. That's the time you really show not to trust God. Thank God for you. Thank God you're going to get that situation right now. Uh -huh. Some of y'all had that situation right now. Right now. And don't know which way to turn. Uh -huh. yeah. If I can tell you something today. I tell you to try Jesus. Try Jesus. Yes. But you are right. yes, But everybody else fail. Fail. But everybody else you go to to help. Uh -huh. I can't give you no help, no way. Yes. Yes. Turn to Jesus. All yes. right. God could have made Elijah deliverance. Uh -huh. Well, to be a maker of a season with the mill. I can. He could have sent a king uh -huh. to Elijah's rescue. Yes. A king. Yeah. We're in a storehouse of flesh. That's right. But instead, he yeah. chose a poor little one. This one thing y'all got to know. Right. God don't need to use people that got a big cloud and important bring you out. He can use a person that don't, as far as y'all concerned, don't, don't need anything. All right. You may. Hallelujah. may not send somebody that don't even have anything. Mind that. Thank you, Jesus. That's what he did with this, this, uh, this one. Yes, right. Did he not? Yes. 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 He chose a poor will. Uh -huh. For God, it was the perfect matchup. Okay. God knows how to put things together. Yes, yes, God's not trying to put things together like you right. 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 Let God do it. Yes. Yes. So what you're trying to put together, maybe not what God wants you to be together with. Yes. Let him do it. Yes. Let him put you together with the right thing. Yes. God used the will to test yes. the purity of our faith. Uh -huh. Pure religion. I'm about to know. Come on. And I'm the foul before God. Go ahead. And the Father is this. Yes, sir. So visit the Father this. Uh-huh. And will her and their affliction. Yes, sir. James 127. Right. Uh -huh. I felt not, I might not have been what Elijah would have claimed. Well. Uh -huh. But it was God's perfect arrangement. Yes. Uh -huh. Anything that God makes is perfect. Yes, yes, yes. You don't need to go behind. No. You don't need to pay the up. Yes. Right. If God do it, it's perfect. Yes. God chose the foolish things of the world to confound the form of the wise. Yes. First Corinthians 127. To read that. Which brings me to these three four points I'll be done. Yes, sir. Of this preachment today. Yes. When God makes arrangements, uh -huh. uh -huh. they are perfectly Time. Yes. When God makes arrangements, yes. the odds are meaningless. Right. When God makes arrangements, there is no reason for you to sit there and worry about how it's going to turn out. Right. Right. There's no reason for you to do that. Yes. When God makes arrangements, they are perfectly timed. When your when your world is upside down. How many of y'all world today is upside down? Don't raise your hand. And you're looking for a solution. Mm -hmm. You know as well as I do that time is everything. Yes, sir. Oh, thank God for Jesus. Yeah. That's why it's good to have him with you all the time. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. When the Israelites were ready to stone Moses because they were thirsty. Yeah, they brought them out there. And they were like yeah. wood. They didn't have no water in there. They were ready to stone Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Moses did what a lot of us better start doing uh -huh. when they to come. Yes. yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Moses cried, Lord, what am I to do? Yes. And God told Moses, you better listen to hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. Go before the people. Yes. Take a rod and follow directions. Yes. Wow. Yes, sir. Go. Go. And I will stand before thee. Yes. There upon the rock in hell. Smite the rock. Smite the rock. 
Amen. Not not rub it. <laughs> Come on. Not talk to it. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Not talk to it. Come on. Uh -huh. Not beside it. Uh -huh. Smack the rock. Right. And there shall come forth water out of it right. Right. that the people may drink. Oh, yes. Right. Right. 17, 5 and 6. Uh -huh. What God was saying, ladies and gentlemen, when you get there, Moses. See, this, this is what y'all got to understand sometimes. When God sent you to do a certain thing, guess what? And he tells you to go, guess what? He's already there. That's right. He's waiting on you to get there. Yeah. So don't, don't, don't think he's sending you and he's behind you. No. Because he's already where he's sitting. Yeah. How many know that? Today? Yeah. Oh, thank God for Come on, man. When you get there, uh -huh. Moses, I will be there. I'll be there. You don't have to look around and wonder where I'm at. Come on. Yeah. I'm there. Already. The arrangement will be made. Yes. Yeah. And with perfect timing, perfect timing. God miraculously yeah. brought the water forth. If you follow the direction. Uh -huh. yeah. What God said uh -huh. and what he told you. Yes. Don't worry about it. You're going to have what you asked for. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you asked for the thing now for the Lord. Yes, yeah. But you got to follow the direction. Yeah. Yeah. It may not come right then when you yeah. ask for it. Stop thinking this because y'all hear the old saying, oh, it may not come to me more than it will no time. A lot of times it will never be on time. It will be on your time. That's right. But it will be on God's time. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to learn how to wait. You might not want to wait for a period of time. But if you wait, if you wait for the Lord, and stop thinking things going to come back quick. It don't happen like that all the time. Yeah, things happen sometimes. You put yourself in a predicament, and God is right there. Yeah. A lot of times it don't come that way. Okay. And that ain't how you should be looking at it. That's right. Uh -huh. You should have the faith. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Lord. You should have that faith to wait. Uh -huh. God say he'll do it. Yeah. Wait for the right time. Uh -huh. Oh, thank God for Jesus. Yes. When King Sanapir, well, I'm saying this out there, defend the God, the God of heaven, there was a similar result. Uh -huh. Sanapir emphatically Declare that Judah will be destroyed. But why he was marching his army toward you. Yeah. Oh, thank God for Jesus. Hezekiah was praying. Oh, yeah. See you see why are you going in a situation with the enemy now? Yeah. You ought to be praying. Yes, sir. You ought to be praying to God yes. to protect you. Everything. Lord bow down. Yes. And I am. And here, oh Lord, I am. And see. And you know what happened after that. The Bible says, the angels of the Lord smote all of the angels' souls while they were asleep. The Bible said it was 185,000 of them. My Lord. God's time is always perfect. Right. Well, you don't need to worry about that. When you call on God, yes. He'll answer your prayer. Yes. But you just have to wait for him to do what he's going to do. Right. He's not going to let the enemy destroy him. As long as you're doing what he desires for you to do, you keep your eyes focused on him. You keep your eyes focused and have faith that God is going to do it for you. Yeah. And what happens by the enemy will catch you with you before God is uh -huh. because you do focus on him. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. you start listening to what man tells you. You start listening to what people tell you that don't know anything what they're talking about. Uh -huh. Stop asking God to come and do something for you. And then go on to the pastor and ask the pastor what you do. Stop asking God to work out situations for you and you go on to your district missionary and ask him to do things. Stop asking God to come through for you for whatever you need. And he's giving you the answer that you're going somewhere else because that answer ain't good enough. Stop doing that, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Then you wonder why things don't turn out the way it's supposed to be. God's timing was perfect yeah. when he released Peter from prison. God's timing was perfect yeah. when he healed the hemorrhaging woman. Yeah. God's timing was perfect yeah. when he restored the blind man's sight. Yeah. Yeah. God's timing was perfect yeah. when he ordered his son on the cross, yeah. offered his son on the cross. When God makes arrangements, y'all. Yes, sir. The odds are meaningless. Yes. God's plans will always 
come through. Yes. Oh, thank God for Jesus. Yes. The third and final point. When God makes an arrangement, come on. there's no need for you to worry. Right. Yeah. Come on. When God made an arrangement for you to find your wife, yeah. ain't no need for you to be worried about it. Right. When God made an arrangement for you, your new job, ain't no need for you to worry about it. All right. When God made an arrangement to take care of that situation that you've been dealing with for years, and still they could couldn't could not get through with it or whatever. God already knew what was going to happen and how high it was going to happen. That's the Lord thing. Thank you, Lord. He was not numbered by the virtuous truth, oh Lord. He was outranked by the wisdom of the ship. This is what's going to be God makes a range. You can stay up all night worrying about it. Your hands first spin, your, 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 your brain is going all over the place. Uh -huh. But God has it all worked out. That's, yeah. that's why I know some of y'all thank God for Jesus. Don't trust God like you say you do. Because if you did, you wouldn't be worried about it. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yep, I see you. Ask God for what you want. Ask God for what you want him to do. Pray on it and read it from the bottom of your heart. Then leave it alone. That's your first job. There's no need. I know people say, well, yeah, it's good to keep praying and praying and praying. But I'm going to do it. That you don't have to keep praying and praying and praying for the same thing that God has to me. If you pray and you mean what you pray, you mean what you say, honestly, believe that God's going to work it out, leave it alone. Leave it alone and keep doing what you're doing. Keep on moving. Sooner or later, God brings it. Yes, How many know that today? Oh, yeah. God wants to open up the windows of heaven. And call you out a blessing. But you have to trust Him. You have to trust that the Bible. It's God divine is by word. You have to trust that Christ came to redeem you yes, sir. from the penalty of sin. Yes, sir. You have to trust that God is able to deliver you from every trial Amen. that you face. Yes, sir. You have to trust yes, sir. that he can, he can dissolve your difficulty. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Destroy your stuff. Yes, sir. Overcome your opposition. Yes, sir. Divide.